My best friend is getting married today and I truly think they are making a mistake. Just as the title says, my best friend is getting married today. I've tried my best to be supportive and gentle in my language if I must be honest, but I'm bursting with frustration. I know this is going to sound petty and honestly, I'm likely a bad friend for judging, but please hear me out. My friend is 23, marrying a man of the same age that they have been dating for about 8 months. At five months, they told me they were engaged and that they were going to the courthouse on Halloween to get married. The only people invited are both of their mothers. A proper wedding ceremony will be held in the spring where everyone will be invited. I've already been told I'm one of the groomsmen slash maid of honor. I'm the best man of the bride if there's a better name for that. Why do I have a problem with this? Because the very short time they've been dating, my best friend is very quick to fall in love and very quick to fall hard. Every person they have dated in the past five years has had the same thing said about them. The best person they've ever dated. And I've never loved someone so much. I genuinely don't mind it normally as they have lots of love to give and how much they see love is one of their charms. But it has led them to getting hurt very often, especially by terrible men who take advantage of their feelings, usually financially. I'm worried they are jumping into this relationship too fast. I've met the fiance slash husband and I don't hate the guy. He's okay and hasn't shown many red flags. He even makes my friend happy, so I should be happy. The only big red flag is his inability to hold a job. Quitting or getting fired frequently, especially quitting without telling my friend. I have talked about my concerns about them rushing this, but they brushed it off and gave me the same. I've never loved anyone like this before. So I bit my tongue sense and try to support them. I even went shopping with them to pick out the wedding outfit like a best friend should. I know I sound like a bad friend and I genuinely feel bad for being so apprehensive. I do also want to get ahead of any jealousy claims, since I'm a man and they are a woman and this is the internet. I am gay, having no interest in women. I love my best friend as family, not in any way romantically. You know, as friends, there's only so much you can do. As long as you voice your concerns and lay it all out for them, at the end of the day, it's up to them and you can't really do much. You can't physically stop them from proceeding with this. You just kind of have to be there and pray that it goes well and there's no fallback from it. And then if there is, you just got to be there to comfort her when it, when inevitably the train crashes. So yeah, it sucks. Am I the asshole for selling my late wife's cake recipe to a bakery? My late wife passed three years ago. Our two kids were in their late twenties at the time. It's been a hard few years and it is even harder now that I live alone. She had a lovely dark chocolate cherry cake. It was my favorite thing that she would make, and I always requested it for Father's Day. I am a shit baker, and I have tried to remake it from her notes. The notes are not very clear, and it never turns out correct. It is depressing spending so much time and it being wrong again and again. I've asked my two kids to try and make it, but they have refused. I was told that they will not figure out the recipe and to stop asking. I went to a local bakery and asked for them to figure it out. They agreed as long as I gave them the permission to sell the cake in the store. It didn't take them long to figure it out and it is almost exactly the same to my wives. I bought one for Father's Day and my kids were happy about the cake until I told them the bakery did it. They are pissed I would sell their mother's recipe to a bakery. This whole week, they have been telling me how I am a jerk for this, and now I'm wondering if I really am the jerk. I just wanted to eat her cake again. I don't think he's an asshole for that. I think what would have been nice if it would be if they could name the cake after his wife. I think in the bakery. Yeah, I think that that would be sweet. That's beautiful. I hope they did. Am I in the wrong for forcing my wife to remove her tattoo that she got without consulting me? So, I don't really like tattoos on a girl, personal preference, and my wife knows this. On the other hand, my wife really wanted to get one. Then one day out of the blue, she gets a tattoo of my name on her collarbone to surprise me. When she showed me that, I really didn't know how to react. On one side, I was disappointed that she got one, but because it was my name, I let it slide because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. I told her that despite me not liking tattoos, I appreciate the gesture. But since I let that one slide, she kept chokingly telling me how she wants some designs on her neck. I told her that tattoos really irk me and I'm not in agreement of this. And just as I also respect her opinions on some things, for example, like she hates me clean shaved, so I haven't really done a clean shave in ages, she should also respect my opinions. Now, here is where the problem is. She had gone home to visit her parents and she called me yesterday that I have a surprise. And she sends me a photo of a tattoo on her neck. When I saw that, I felt really hurt and disappointed that she couldn't respect this wish of mine. When I confronted her, she said that she was sorry, but she didn't know that I would be so hurt and to let it go. When I didn't accept her apology, she started telling me to stop being a kid and not make a huge scene out of a small thing. She was making me feel like I was a bad guy for not immediately forgiving her. 
However, I stood my ground and really ignored her apology and I even canceled our upcoming vacation trip because I had zero mood of traveling anymore. She's now telling me that she'll get it removed if it's such a big problem for me, but she's making me feel like an a-hole for doing this. Somehow, I'm still the bad person here. But am I not justified for having strong preferences and opinions about what my partner should do? Why am I the bad person here when in fact she was the one who went behind my back and did the thing that I don't like? She thinks I could have let it go because it's not a big deal and that I'm an a-hole in this one. So tell me y'all, am I? Am I overreacting for breaking up with my long-term boyfriend because of his female friend? I started dating my boyfriend when we were both 20 years old. It was my second relationship and it was his first. We met in college, became friends, and eventually developed feelings for each other, leading to our dating relationship. We've been together for eight years now and we've been planning to get married in one to two years with aspirations for two kids. Our relationship was genuinely loving with no real problems. I was content and happy. However, things took an uncomfortable turn when my boyfriend became very close to a girl we knew from college. They texted frequently, and while the content didn't appear inappropriate, I still felt uneasy. Whenever we attended events, he would bring her along as a plus one, and they seemed to get along extremely well. At one point, he even went out to lunch with her alone at a restaurant. After about six months of feeling uncomfortable, I shared my feelings with my boyfriend. I told him that this closeness with another girl made me feel bad. He reassured me that nothing untoward was happening that he would never cheat, and that this girl was just his best friend whom he had recently reconnected with. I thought I was being overly controlling, so I asked him to be careful and drop the subject. As time went on, I continued to see how close they were. They texted constantly, and their physical interactions, like the hugs, seemed more intimate than platonic. One day, when she was going through a rough time, she came over to our place. I stayed in the kitchen while they talked. I saw him hold her hand and then hugged her tightly, with her head resting on his chest. I confronted him again, expressing my discomfort with their closeness. He told me not to overreact, insisting that she was just a friend. I decided to drop it and try to become friends with her as well. I talked to her when she came over, but our conversations mainly centered around my boyfriend. When he came home, they would talk to each other, leaving me feeling like a third wheel in my own relationship. This realization led me to question whether I wanted to continue putting up with these feelings for the rest of my life. Should I really marry and get pregnant by this guy? I realized perhaps we weren't compatible if he thought that this was appropriate. I left the house and of course, he didn't even notice my absence. When I returned home, I found them snuggled up on the couch watching a movie. I angrily pulled the blanket off and told him that we were done. I gathered some of my belongings and left. Since then, he has been calling and texting me, saying I can't throw away an eight-year relationship over mere insecurities. I've been ignoring his messages. I'm not saying that he's a bad guy. It's just that I'm uncomfortable with my boyfriend having such a close female friend especially when I thought that I was his best friend. I'm his girlfriend, right? It's not like I'm controlling him. I simply left and he can do whatever he wants now. I don't care anymore what was going on between them, platonic or otherwise. Our mutual friends know about the situation now because of him and some of them tell me that I was overreacting. They say that my ex-boyfriend is really hurting over this and some said that I'm a controlling jerk. Did I overreact? Today's secret comes from listener Claudia. Hey guys, never did I think I would actually be writing to you, but I desperately need your help. I've been happily engaged to my fiance, let's call him Brody, for three years now. To cut to the chase, Brody and I are madly in love with each other. We also get along with each other's friends like a house on fire. Since meeting Brody, I've gotten to know his best friend, who I will refer to as Doug. Doug has always been around and we've formed a really special friendship over time. Doug and I are extremely similar, we act the same, share all the same interests and even have almost identical birth charts. Recently, Doug moved away to another state with his girlfriend of only two months, who were already off to a rocky start before they left. Two months in, Doug is not happy. He's been messaging me every day about the situation and that he feels like he needs to break up with his girlfriend, but isn't sure how. Anyways, this is where things get icky. It was a Saturday night and Doug was messaging me, asking for relationship advice. He was so sick of arguing with his girlfriend that he booked a last minute one-way ticket to see his family without even telling her. On this particular night, Doug had also been drinking quite a bit. He's always been known as the type of drinker who will start crying over how much he loves his friends and family after a few too many. That's me. Yeah. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like this was one of those nights. We were probably chatting for three hours on and off until I dropped Brody off at a concert with his friends that night. After Brody had left, he started to say things like, I want to say something, but I won't. Oh. Amongst I our conversation. Fuck. I was truly, truly hoping that they were like best friends. And that was it. And that was it. Fuck! <laughs> Out of nowhere, Doug sent me a message on Instagram. It was an extremely detailed message of Doug confessing his love for me. <sighs> and essentially pointing out that he and I want the same things in life. He told me that he will always want me and that this is why he purposefully sabotages his relationships. Whoa. And told me that he will always be waiting for me if I ever consider leaving Brody. That's so intense. That's so intense. 
I felt sick to my stomach. I didn't know how to respond. And after a while, I just replied with a simple, ha ha, you're hilarious. That would be wild. Because I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I love deflecting. <laughs> That's amazing. LOL. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I didn't say anything more to Brody about it and truly thought that by the morning when Doug was sober, everything would be just fine and that it was just the alcohol talking or some kind of joke. But when I got up in the morning at 6am, I already had another Instagram message from Doug. Doug confirmed he wasn't joking and that he was sorry. He said he feels awful for not only putting this on me, but for feeling like a terrible friend to Brody. He begged me to keep it to myself and to just forget about everything he said. My question to you guys is, what the hell do I do with this information? Help, Claudia. 